Welcome to the demonstration of the connection between Revit and FemDesign. The first thing we will do is to start up Revit. Here we have prepared a short demo. Let's begin by looking at the analytical model, which is represented by different colored bars. Green is for walls, brown for floors, blue for columns and orange for beams. It's important that you have a continuous analytical model before you export this to FemDesign. Before you export the model from Revit to FemDesign, you have to make a consistency check. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very important to have a correct analytical model before continuing, because if anything is wrong, then this will be copied to the FemDesign with the export. We export walls and floors, beams, columns, different types of supports and the connections. Just go over to Add-ins, Strewsoft FemDesign. We have Export to FemDesign and Export to and Launch to FemDesign. The difference is that the first option saves it to our R2F format and the second option saves it and launches it to FemDesign. This time we're going to save it. Name it Demo, as you can see here, R2F, and save. No warnings, no errors. OK. So when importing a model from Revit to FemDesign, there's one thing you have to do. It's in the Formats catalog. Within the FemDesign install directory, there are two files, Revit Fem Material Template and Revit Fem Profile Template. We have to map the material and sections from Revit to those in FemDesign. We begin by making a copy of the template file and rename it to Revit Fem Material. Just delete the template part, then open it in your text editor, as you can see here. In order to map it, just type the Revit name, tab, and then FemDesign name. Since FemDesign supports different codes, you can have a pipe sign separating the codes, as different languages use different codes. This is done for materials, and it's basically the same thing for profiles. The Revit name, tab, the FemDesign type, tab the FEM design size. Once you have done this, you can open up FEM design. Go to File, Open. We'll locate the catalog in which we saved the file. Here we have chosen Revit to import file R2F. Pick Demo and just open it. Now we have the Revit model here in FemDesign. We can assign loads. We already have our dead load. We can create a new load case and just name it to, for example, live load. Create a surface load. Make it about 3 kN. And then choose section. We add it to different levels. Then we go to Finite Elements. Just check the size and the element and mesh. To speed things up, we make the average element size a bit bigger. Then we can generate the mesh, which hopefully will be correct. which it was in this case. We can now create a mesh directly from the import model. Go to Analyze. Calculate the load cases and just hit OK. The results can now be displayed. 
We can check the dead load. We can see the displacements. And also make an animation. Here we can see the results. This was for the dead load. Check the different forces and the effect they have. This was our demonstration of the Revit to Firm Design connection. This works for Revit Structure 2009 as well as for Revit Structure 2010.